I'm Michelle. Today's Takumi or Innovator developed an unusual microscope. With it, you will see wonders that you will never see through an ordinary microscope. I'm very curious. Let's go and have a look. This is the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology in Tsukuba City. Hello, I'm Michelle. Hello, I'm Miyazaki. Nice to meet you. Today's Takumi is Kotaro Miyazaki. He has been involved in developing microscopes for 12 years since he was still in university. And this is the microscope that Takumi developed. Is this really a microscope? Yes, it's a photo emission electron microscope. It allows humans to see special things that can't be seen by the naked eye. He immediately showed us one special something that can't be seen by the eye unaided. First, aluminum foil. When looking at it with an optical microscope, the surface of the aluminum foil, which seemed smooth, turned out to be rough. But when looking at the aluminum foil with the Takumi's microscope, I see some grayish parts and some whitish parts. What are they? They show the extent of oxidation on the aluminum foil. The white part in the image shows the oxidation of aluminum. You can see some differences that won't be apparent without the microscope. If you look at iron, you would see yet something else. First, a look through an ordinary microscope. You can see two damaged places. If you look at this with the photo emission electro microscope, not only is it damaged in two places, but it is separated into white, gray, and black colors. These color differences show that small magnets are divided inside the iron. If you can make the direction in which the magnets are facing all the same, it will lead to the development of an even more powerful magnet. How can it take such an image? This microscope irradiates the sample with high-energy light. Then electrons are emitted from the sample. These electrons are gathered with a lens and received by the sensor to project the state of the electrons on the surface. And from the state of the electrons, the degree of oxidation and the direction of the magnets can be inferred. Until now, foreign-made microscopes like this existed, but were expensive and not widely popular in Japan. The area where you place the sample and the connecting part of the pipe were key to achieving both of those requirements. If it was entirely welded, the heat from the welding would cause it to deform, and then the accuracy would be off. The Takumi's company was involved in large industrial products, such as parts for fishing trawlers. But when it came to making microscopes, they needed uncomparably high accuracy. Then, the Takumi started looking for a method that would improve the accuracy. The joint part is machined sharply like this, called a knife edge. And there, a part called a gasket is attached. If you take a look at the cross-section of the joint part, you can see claw-like sharp edges. A metal piece called a gasket is placed in between and locked with a claw. He was finally able to develop a device that was highly accurate and had a high vacuum. The Takumi's microscope offers the same performance as the foreign-made one, but costs almost half the price. The Takumi is thinking of promoting greater use of the microscope 
because he thinks it can be used in the field of semiconductor devices and for the development of new materials. I am hoping to expand further into different fields. There is a possibility that it could be used in the fields of medicine and pharmaceuticals. I am continuing development to produce new results. The Takumi's company obtained new technology for precision devices and is already engaged in development of precision machinery such as thin film manufacturing equipment. I really hope that the Takumi's microscope will help create revolutionary new products. I'm sure there are many researchers that were looking forward to the microscope that Takumi developed. The equipment development will stimulate scientific advancement and in turn, scientific advancement can then produce new equipment. I hope that Takumi maintains his pioneering spirit and continues to take on the challenges of creating new devices. Yes, thank you very much, Michelle. So, Dr. Oka, how would you wrap up today's program on the creation of Element 113? Element 113 exists for just 0.002 seconds before changing into other elements. At the moment, this element does not seem to have a direct connection with people's lives. However, elements are what make up our world. In the process of finding these elements, may make a big contribution to future science and consequently to the development of society. Thank you, Dr. Oka. And that's all for Science View. We hope to see you all next time.